So what's up guys, it's Ash here and welcome back to a brand new video. Obviously it's team of the year right now, I haven't packed one, but I'm just wondering how many packs you guys have opened. So please be sure to comment down below how many packs you've opened for team of the year and whether or not you've managed to pack one. I'm trying to see how difficult it actually is to get one as well as, you know, boosting the video and the algorithm. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to start mainly opening packs and stuff tomorrow when the upgrades come out. But uh, yeah, I'm just interested to see whether or not you guys have been lucky. And uh, yeah, today we have some 4321 custom tactics to help you out with uh, gameplay during team of the year and uh, yeah I hope you guys enjoy the video let's get right into it if you guys want coins for FC24 make sure you check out MMOEXP.com their link is down in the description they're very fast they're very cheap they're very reliable and if you use my code Rima you can get yourself a lovely 5% discount Okay then guys, so starting off with the custom tactics for the 4-3-2-1. For the defensive style, as always, I like to have this on balance because it does give me the best control over my defense. So if I want to be super aggressive, for example, and press my opponent, I can do that. And then if I want to drop off and maybe be a little bit more passive, uh, I can also do that. So it does give me really good control, which is why I like it. That being said, if you guys don't want to use balance and you want to use some sort of pressure tactic, that is absolutely fine. Just use whatever you are comfortable with. Uh, for the defensive whip guys i have this on 40 at the moment it was 45 last week i've just loaded it a little bit not too much of a difference but uh basically 40 width gives you a really nice narrow and compact defense which will block out all those attacks through the middle however it's not too narrow to the point where you can't cover the wider areas so we can also cover the wings in case an opponent goes down the wing which let's be honest they do all the time so this is a really good balanced width in my opinion that being said again just pick something you want you can up it or lower it depending on how you find it moving on to the depth guys there are a few different options you have with the depth one of the most popular ones in this game is the 71 depth thing now the reason people like 71 depth is because you get that automatic press from the ai it's a very strong and overpowered press which makes it difficult for the opponent to play through uh the defense of course and especially through the middle um now me personally after all these updates i don't like 71 depth as i feel like it doesn't give me as much control as i want because i like to manually control my defenders as much as possible so I prefer something like 60 depth where I still have that higher defensive line but I have a bit more control over when my defenders press and when they don't, stuff like that. So 60 works better for me. Um, if this is still too high for you guys, you can lower it even more. Like it's all about finding something that works for you, to be honest with you. So if you want to lower this, that is absolutely fine, guys. Uh, for the build-up play, we have this on balance. Now the reason we take it onto balance is because it does give you the best uh, controlled and most varied build-up, basically. So when you use balance, for example, you can play slowly. And then if you want to speed up, you can play a bit faster. It allows you to mix up different build-up styles. Uh, and it just makes your attack a bit more free-flowing. So I do highly recommend balance as I find it to be the most consistent. And yeah, for the chance creation, guys, we have this on direct passing. Uh, the reason we have it on direct passing, I think this is the most important one, by the way, is because it's the only setting which will allow you to break through those park the bus defenses, which people like to use. So when you use direct passing, your attackers will, you know, they'll commit these runs forward and then the defender will follow that run and then once the defender has over committed the attack will track back so you can cut back to them so there'll be a bit of space there uh, it's a little bit of a boring tactic but there's no denying how effective it is another thing with it is your attacker will often uh, bunch up against the opposition defenders they'll like back into them meaning it's easy to isolate a specific player and take them on in a 1v1 scenario so yeah direct passing very very good guys for the attacking width uh, I have to use a higher width in this game there's no two ways about it i don't really like to do it but it's the most effective way to attack so I use 59 width and it might seem crazy wide for a super narrow formation like the 4-3-2-1 but it actually doesn't seem too bad. The main difference I've noticed is there's a bit more space between the center mids which make it a bit easier to uh, you know build up the play because they're not all you know glued together. There is a little bit more width between the attackers as well uh, but you can also play through the middle as well as play wide with this which is why I like it but you know you pretty much have to go down the wing which is why I'm using a higher width. Uh, just pick a width that is more comfortable to you if this doesn't work for you you can lower it or up it does not matter for the players in the box guys i have this on five at the moment this is um yeah it's really balanced you get a few players into the box but you don't overcommit everybody and then for the corners and the free kicks guys i have these on one but uh yeah you can pretty much have these on what you want as well there is nothing you know set in stone there 
Now, moving on to the player instructions, they're a little bit different to uh, what I posted last time, and I will explain why. But starting off with the striker, we just have them on stay central and mixed attack. I like mixed attack in a, you know, one striker formation because I feel like you get more out of the striker. It can be a little bit too one-dimensional when you just set him on get in behind. So I prefer mixed attack because it helps with the build-up and just makes it a bit easier to attack. Obviously, we don't really want this player drifting out wide. Stay central is better because we do have the right and left forward to cover the wider areas. So stay central and mixed attack works best on the striker in my opinion now for the right forward guys and the left forward we have them on stay central and getting behind stay central for similar reasons to the striker where we want to keep them in the more narrow pockets of space primarily and then if we want to take them out wide we can do that manually so that is something i like to do uh, if you find that the attackers are a little bit too central a little bit too narrow for you you can maybe put them on balance width but just beware it can make it feel a bit more like a 4-3-3 so stay central i prefer and then we do actually have getting behind on these players because because we do want to utilize their pace to get in behind the defense uh, and it can work really well with a striker who's on mixed attack because for example the striker could come short and then the right and the left forward could run and you can play it forward like that so that's just an example uh, but yeah we don't have one of these forwards on comeback on defense by the way so this won't defend in a 4-4-2 shape now the reason I do this with this formation is because I think a three-man midfield can already defend pretty well you know when it's like a 4-1-2-1-2 it's a little bit too narrow for my liking uh, but with this 4-3-2-1 the three center mids can hold their own so I trade off that extra defensive security to have a quicker faster counter attack when we win the ball back so that is something I like to do if you want to put this player on comeback on defense you can don't feel like you can't guys Moving on to the left centre mid, I use a more box-to-box -box style midfielder. So on this player, we leave them on the default settings. I did not mean to flick that, and then pop them on cover centre. You know, we leave them on the default settings because if they're a more box-to-box -box style player, we don't exactly want to restrict them to just doing a specific thing. You know, we kind of just want to give them the freedom, let them cook, let them do whatever they want, and just pop them on cover centre to primarily cover those central areas in the midfield. Now for the middle centre mid guys, I use a more defensive minor midfielder like a CDM. So I have him on stay back while attacking and cover center stay back obviously we don't want him flying forward if he's a defensive minor midfielder so this just works really well brings balance into the midfield which is why we do that and then for the right center mid i do actually use a more attacking minded player here and you might think it's a little bit stupid when we're only defending in a three man like this guy is not going to defend as a right midfielder because you know we don't have the 4-4-2 shape but the thing is with somebody like griezmann when they have a high high work rate and decent defensive stats not not great like 50-60 they can still do a really good job as a more attacking minded centre mid in this formation so somebody with a high high work rate and really good attacking stats is somebody I would suggest here and we just pop him on get forward get into the box across and cover centre obviously we want him flying forward if he's an attacker get into the box across so he doesn't hesitate and cover centre so he does primarily cover those central areas when defending so that works really well for me now for the fullbacks guys whichever one is your most attacking minded fullback doesn't matter which one the left back or the right back just pop them on balance attack and overlap this will add that extra width stretch out the opponent's defense and give you more opportunities to attack gives you more space for your narrow players to get through because the opponent's defense is stretched gives you a different angle just works really well i'm surprised a lot of people still don't use this uh, for the other fullback the more defensive one like i said it could be your right back or your left back doesn't matter which just pop them on stay back and overlap so you always have at least three defenders back at a time but when you send them on a run forward they'll make the overlapping runs to add that extra width as well for the two center backs i leave them alone and the keeper i also leave them alone but yeah guys they're my tactics and instructions for the 4321 if you guys have enjoyed or found this useful please be sure to drop it a like sub to the channel if you are new and don't forget to turn on those notifications and with all that aside guys hope you have a great rest of your day and i'll catch you all in the next video peace